download our app Maths Guide from Google Play today. We now discuss question number three from exercise five a. The question is if root of two by three is a solution of the equation three x square plus m x plus two equal to zero, find the value of m. So we have been given that root of two by three is a solution of the given equation of the given equation 3x square plus mx plus 2 equal to 0. So therefore we could say x equal to root of 2 by 3 must satisfy must satisfy the given equation and therefore we could substitute x equal to root of 2 by 3 so therefore we could say 3 times x square that is 3 times root of 2 by 3 the whole square plus m into x now x is root of 2 by 3 plus 2 is equal to 0 now if we simplify this we get 3 times now root of 2 by 3 the whole square we square it we get 2 by 3 plus m into root of 2 by 3 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now upon further simplification this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled so we have 2 plus 2 so that is equal to 4 plus m into root of 2 by 3 is equal to 0. So therefore now transferring 4 onto the right hand side now this could be written as m into now we could split the square root as root 2 upon root 3 okay and that should be equal to minus 4 so therefore m is equal to minus 4 into root 3 by root 2 now if we rationalize the denominator okay so we have minus 4 root 3 upon root 2 so we rationalize the denominator so we multiply and divide by root 2 and let's see what we get so we have m is equal to minus 4 times now root 3 into root 2 is root 6 and in the denominator root 2 into root 2 is 2 so finally we have now 2 ones are 2 2 is 4 so we have the value of m as minus of 2 root 6 we now discuss question number 4 2 by 3 and 1 are the solutions of the equation mx square plus nx plus 6 is equal to 0 find the values of m and n so we could say as 2 by 3 and 1 are the solutions of mx square plus nx plus 6 equal to 0 so therefore x equal to 2 by 3 and x equal to 1 satisfy the given equation. Now let us consider x equal to 2 by 3. So at x equal to 2 by 3 
we get now we substitute this over here in the equation so m times x square that is 2 by 3 the whole square plus n into x x is 2 by 3 plus 6 is equal to 0 now simplifying further we get now 2 by 3 the whole square is 4 by 9 so we have 4m upon 9 plus 2n upon 3 plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we simplify this equation. We could multiply throughout by 9. Okay, so multiplying throughout by 9. Because the LCM of 9 and 3, if we equalize the denominator, so it would be 9. So, multiplying throughout by 9, let's see what we get. So, the first term is 4m upon 9 into 9 plus 2n upon 3 into 9 plus 6 into 9. And on the right hand side, 0 into 9, that would be 0. Now, this 9 gets cancelled. So, we have 4m plus 3 ones are, 3 threes are is 9. Now, 3 into 2, so that is 6n plus 54 is equal to 0. So, we have a first equation, 4m plus 6n is equal to minus 54. Now, we could divide this throughout by 2. So, we reduce further, we have 2m plus 3n is equal to minus 27. Let us name this as equation number 1. Now, we have the second value of x, that is x is equal to 1. So, we substitute this again in the same equation, mx squared plus nx plus 6. So, at x equal to 1, at x equal to 1, we get, the equation is mx square. So, m into 1 square plus nx, that is n into 1 plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, 1 square is 1, so 1 into m, that is m plus n and positive 6 we take it on the right hand side so it becomes minus 6 this is equation number 2 now we need to solve these two equations simultaneously now what we could do is we either equalize the coefficients of m or n let us equalize coefficient of m so we multiply equation 2 by 2 okay and see what we get this becomes 2m plus 2 times n so that is 2n is equal to minus 12 and then we subtract with equation number 1 that is 2m plus 3n is equal to minus 27 now if we subtract the two equations let's see what we get so, upon subtraction, the sign changes, this will be minus, minus and this would be plus. So, 2m gets cancelled off, 2n minus 3n, so that's minus n and 27 minus 12, 27 minus 12 will give us 15. So, therefore, we have n is equal to minus 15 and from the second equation we could obtain the value of m right so from equation 2 from equation 2 that is m plus n n is a minus 15 is equal to minus 6 so we have m minus 15 is equal to minus 6 upon further simplification we'll have m is equal to 15 minus 6 so the value for m now 15 minus 6 gives us 9 
so finally we have m is equal to 9 and n is equal to minus 15 we now discuss question number 5 if 3 and minus 3 are the solutions of the equation ax squared plus bx minus 9 equal to 0 find the values of a and b so again we could say as 3 and minus 3 are the solutions of the equation ax square plus bx minus 9 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 3 and x equal to minus 3 must satisfy the given equations rather equation so first we consider x equal to 3 so at x equal to 3 we get we substitute x over here as 3 so a into x square that is a into 3 square plus b into x that is b into 3 minus 9 is equal to 0 now 3 square is 9 into a so that is 9a plus 3b now minus 9 we transfer it on the right hand side so we have equal to 9 so this is equation number 1 next we substitute x equal to minus 3 and we get a into minus 3 square plus b into minus 3 minus 9 is equal to 0 from here we get the second equation minus 3 square is 9 9 times a is 9a this would be minus 3b and we transfer minus 9 onto the right hand side so we have 9 so this is equation number 2 now if you observe equation number 1 and in equation number 2 the coefficients of a and b okay especially the coefficient of a is the same 9a 9a so we could simply subtract the two equations okay so subtracting equations 1 and 2 now the first equation is 9a plus 3b 9a plus 3b is equal to 9 and second equation is 9a minus 3b is equal to 9 so let us subtract and see what we get so this becomes minus this will be plus this would be minus so 9a minus 9a gets cancelled so we have 6 times b is equal to 0 so from here we obtain the value of b as 0 now we need to obtain the value of a so let us substitute this so we could say from equation number 1 right 9a plus 3b that is 3 times 0 is equal to 9 so we have 9a plus 0 is equal to 9 so therefore 9 times a is equal to 9 so we have the final value a is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.